I'm Master Corporal Ray Cowell from Winnipeg, Manitoba, an aviation systems technician currently posted to Four Wing Cold Lake. And I'm Master Corporal Dan Heroux from saint jean sur richelieu Quebec. I'm an aviation systems technician at 438 Tactical Helicopter Squadron in saint Thomas. The modern fighter jet long-range transport or ship-based helicopter is one of the most complex machines in the world. Keeping those aircraft in perfect flying condition and keeping our flight crews safe and secure is what aviation systems techs are proud to do every day. We work on the, uh, on the engines, the propulsion systems, uh, the airframes, the landing gears, all the systems related to the mechanical side of the aircraft. Every job that I do on the aircraft, I have to make sure that I gather the appropriate paperwork, get the appropriate experts that I may need to assist me in that job to make sure I put out an airworthy and safe aircraft. Wherever we go, we're out on the ramps every day, towing, parking, and refueling the aircraft, and jumping on board to fix any last-second snags. You'll find AVN techs assigned to squadrons across Canada, but we also sail with the Navy in support of our maritime helicopters. And if the Army needs air support on overseas deployment, we're there too. Especially in uh, missions like in Afghanistan, when you know uh, the guys are out there, they're waiting for your, the plane to come and pick them up, or they, they're counting on you a lot. and. Uh, it makes you feel good knowing that you fixed that plane to make sure that they can make it up there. I think the coolest part of the job is actually sitting in the jet. I think uh, sitting in the jet, doing functionals, working and, and working on the aircraft is like working on like a, a NASCAR, you know, like a sports car or something like that, but it's a, a fighter jet. It's not something that everybody gets to do. When I was on the Herc, the CC-130 Herc, I was uh, doing the engine run-ups on the plane actually getting to start up all four engines, you know, 20,000 pounds of torque each engine. This is a great feeling. And then uh, the other part is the, the missions, going away on missions all around the world and knowing that you're actually making a difference somewhere. Being able to have hands-on time with the aircraft, to effectively communicate with the pilots and the ground crew to make sure that the mission is carried out. I've been to Afghanistan, Haiti, uh, up north in Alert, or even for the Olympics here for Op Podium. It was uh, a lot of the good uh, missions that we did there. Being right out there on the tarmac with the fighters and the big transports, and knowing that you helped get that plane ready to fly, that never stops being really cool to me. When you join the Air Force, you're going to start with your basic military training, and then you'll move on to your aviation systems course. You'll spend a little more than a year at the Canadian Forces School of Aerospace Technology and Engineering in Borden, Ontario. At Borden, they'll take you through the nuts and bolts of an aircraft from nose to tail. Materials and metallurgy, propulsion, electricity and hydraulics. There's a lot to learn and they've got some great instructors to teach it. Coming out of Borden, you'll be assigned to an air squadron and a specific airframe, whether it's fixed or rotary wing, jet or turboprop. But when you get to your first uh, aircraft, uh, you, you start learning right away and the experienced technicians really show you around. And then you make a name for yourself. They know they can start trusting you, so they, they let you actually do the job, and then they just look at it and sign for it. And after a couple of years, then you uh, actually get your qualifications and get to sign for your first uh, job. The best feeling, just let, knowing that you actually fixed it and you're signing for your own job. The confidence really builds up fast. Sailing with the Navy, fighting with the Army, on deployments for disaster relief and humanitarian assistance, the missions are incredibly diverse, but our commitment to safety never changes. For me, it's more the challenge of uh, getting the aircraft ready for the next day or finding out uh, what the problem is when the air crew come in and say, uh, it's not working right, you want to make it work right, and seeing the results makes you feel great. I'm excited to come to work. Um, I think my job is extremely rewarding, the fact that I'm helping protect Canada. Get to travel, see the world, get to uh, work on many different aircraft and all the new aircraft coming in now. You get to work on the newest technologies every day. It's, uh, it's amazing.